To get started on this sesame sake noodle dish, we're gonna first start by mincing up our garlic. We're using some large cloves here because we like that garlic flavor. All right, so I'm putting into my pan. You can use oil or water to simmer this. I'm also adding in some chopped up green onions. And this is gonna be a new ingredient that I normally don't add into like Asian stir fries, but it's a leek. I'm adding two of these and it really adds to the aromatic flavor. And so I'm putting that into the pan and then I'm juuling up one medium sized carrot as well. We're gonna place that into the pan to simmer with our aromatics. And you can um, also chop it up in slices if you don't want it julienne, but I like julienne's. And then, so we're also grating in some ginger. We're gonna be uh, adding some ginger into the sauce later on, but um, if you're not a huge ginger fan, maybe just uh, like admit it here or feel it out. But I love the ginger flavor. All right, so we're gonna have this cook off for around five minutes. We don't wanna cook it too long, otherwise the carrots will get kind of mushy or too soft. But in the meantime, we can cut up our bell pepper. I'm doing one uh, red bell pepper here, one medium large sized, and I'm just doing the same type of slices as I did the carrot uh, julienne. And then we're also gonna be adding some broccoli. Um, I had a bunch of broccoli and I felt like broccoli is really good in noodle dishes and we don't really use them or I don't normally put them in my noodle dishes. So I thought this would be a fun um, little twist and it tasted amazing. So uh, we're using about two and a half cups of here. Okay, so for the sauce, while that's simmering, we're going to make it with some maple syrup and some sesame oil. We're going to also be adding our sake. Um, if you can't purchase alcohol or you don't really like sake, you can use rice wine vinegar instead. We're also going to be using some tamara here. And then I'm adding in some freshly made garlic powder. You can use other garlic powder or fresh garlic. And then we're grating in some ginger. We're going to give this a really good mix. Um, and then we're going to add it, our noodles into the pan with our veggies. And once that's all mixed together, then we can add in our sauce. We're going to be adding all the sauce um, in small increments. And we're also going to be adding in some fresh lime juice. I think the lime juice... Um, tastes really great here but you know not everyone loves super acidic dishes so add as much or as little as you'd like to your preference and once that is done it only needs a little bit more time to cook uh, since the noodles are pre-cooked already and uh, you can go ahead and serve it with some sesame seeds chopped up green onions some red bell pepper flakes if you want or red pepper flakes if you want but um, this dish is super easy super flavorful and I hope you enjoy